Hello, another stress hacker short for you. So we're going to stand with our, our, our feet hip width apart. No, we're not. We're standing with them shoulder width apart. So we can bring the heel of one foot to the instep of the other. And then spinning around on the toes, bring that heel down and taking it out. That gives us a good sort of shoulder width part. And this is Wuji pose in Qigong. We want to relax everything. So we're relaxing open the joints. This is taken from Yo Chi training. And so we are relaxing the toes, feeling the pads of the toes in contact with the floor. We are feeling our ankles relaxed, knees relaxed, might even soften the knees a little bit, relax the hips. Only dip your tailbone down if you've got a very pronounced um, curve in your lumbar spine and just standing, relaxing the hips, the spine, the shoulders, relax the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Just feel as if there's a, a kind of warm liquid pouring through your joints. So we've got slightly softened knees. Now, this is fantastic if you've had a shock, if you're stressed, and it's called Shape the Tree. So we're just starting to allow everything to shape down to the ground. It's autumn here in the UK at the moment. Good time for letting go of things we don't want. Chopping things out of our lives that we no longer want or need. Getting rid of the clutter. And this is a purging um, movement. It just purges us of stagnant energy. We can do this up to 20 minutes. I often say to um, my students, hang on to your pelvic floor and just let everything else release and relax. So you can shrug the shoulders, the arms kind of come along for the ride, as do the hands and the fingers. So, and I also often say, you know, if on them, um, when there are fireworks, you may see a dog trembling and that's what they're doing. They're doing this shaking. They're trying to get rid of this excess adrenaline, shaking it down to the earth so that they can feel calm and soothed again. So I don't know if you've had a, an unpleasant interaction, if you've been very stressed at work, if you've had a little tap in the car, uh, you know, an accident or something like that, and you're really shaken up, get rid of it. Don't keep it with you. So we shake out. And as I say, we can do this for up to 20 minutes if we want, and we'll feel really, really good afterwards. So as we're shaking up, we're uh, letting the shoulders shrug and the head and the knees. And when we're sort of moving like this, we're kind of pumping um, the calf muscles. And it's said that the heart, second heart, is in the calf muscle. So we're pumping up lymph fluid. So as well as getting rid, going to the earth, things are pumping upwards. So it's a really beneficial exercise to do. We can also just go on to one leg if we want, shaking out, and then back onto the other. So it's a really nice way of getting rid of what we don't want. So if you don't clean your house, you can expect to have cobwebs and dust in your corners. And the corners of the body are our joints. So we want to get rid of all this stagnant energy that builds up. We want to get rid of last night's energy, yesterday's energy, because there's an abundance of chi from our thoughts, from our food, from our environment. So we want to circulate fresh chi in our body, which means we had to get rid of the old. So dust your house, dust your corners, get rid of your clutter, and now stop. And enjoy the rebound. Don't scrunch your toes, just relax the toes. So just enjoy the rebound. Can you feel that energy? So energy moves in waves and pulses. So can you feel that pulsing, beautiful energy, that chi, prana, ki, just finding its way through the pathways of your body, the meridians, the nadis. Notice how you feel. And then take that energy with you and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Please give me any comments, um, any feedback in the comments below. And Om Shanti, peace be with you. Thank you.